Hey guys, and welcome to November's weight loss vlog. So, this is going to be a short one. I don't really have a lot of updates. I haven't really made a lot of progress this month. But to start off with, we're going to go over this month and last month's measurements and weights. There's a little bit of change, but not as much as I would like. Right here. Okay, so last month, I um, my neck was 16. I measured it 15. Um, my chest, it's still 4.5. My biceps, I measured 18. It was 16 last time, so I feel like I measured it wrong one of those two times. Um, so last month my waist was 54.5. Um, it's 55.5 this time. Um, and then my hips were 66, and they're 65 this time. My thighs, um, 38 both times. Um, my calves went down an inch, 22. And then my weight last time was 50, 353.2, and it is... 350.4 um it's been fluctuating because i haven't been eating like i'm should like i should but my body fat percent it was 52.2 last time it is 51.7 that has gone down just a little bit um and i am going to do another um a side by side at the end of this for what i look like now um, to what I looked like the very first one of these I did. So I've lost a total of 23 pounds. I have gotten down to 348, um, but I keep going back up and we'll discuss that now. So I've been eating a lot of things I shouldn't. I've been having Starbucks a lot in the mornings. Um, last night we had, um, burger cake and I got one of those Hershey pies and I ate it for dessert and I felt sick. My stomach was upset. My stomach was upset this morning after I had the, the um, the Starbucks again. Um, luckily I don't have any more Starbucks money, but, uh, I, I no more cause I'm really disappointed in myself. I should have easily lost another 10 pounds and I didn't. Um, so going forward, I am strictly sticking to my diet. I got, I got an appointment on Monday and then for a dietitian appointment, it's online. Um, I just answered the questions they send out and then I got one more. Um, and my goal is by that last dietitian appointment that I lose, um, uh, another 10 pounds. I would like to lose five pounds before the first. So tomorrow, me and my boyfriend are going to start going to the gym. We keep me into, but I, it's, I'm the reason we have it. I have been getting out walking more. We've gone, we, it's been getting kind of cold. We went to the park once and walked, and then we've been going to like Walmart and like Menards and like just going to walk around the store for an hour. Um, and then instead of ordering groceries this time, we actually went in the store and ordered them. And I did really good. I didn't buy anything that I shouldn't go into the store. That's why I've been ordering it online. So I didn't um, do any, um, like impulse buying or buy stuff I wasn't supposed to. Um, but I didn't do any, then I went and ate Burger King, but I shouldn't have, but, um, I, uh, I, I did really good buying groceries. Um, I got me some more things for salads. I didn't get me as big a container because it always goes bad before I finish it. Um, I got some more strawberries that I need to wash and dry real well. And then I could take them. Um, and then I got my sugar-free snacks. Um, but if I go back to how I was eating the past, aside from this month, I'll be doing it. But like, and I don't, I wish I would stop eating sugar cause it just makes me feel sick. Um, and my stomach gets upset. Um, and I think it's cause I'm not used to, and I don't even like it. Like that Hershey pie was so sweet. I couldn't even taste the taste of the pie. It, it just tasted like sugar. The same thing with the drinks at, um, Starbucks. It just, I can't even taste the coffee. It just tastes like I'm eating spoonfuls of sugar and I don't enjoy it. So no more of that. I'm completely cutting sugar back out of my diet. Um, like I had previously up until this month, I was doing really, I felt like I was doing pretty good. Um, uh, but my goal is to lose, I would, I between 10 to 15 pounds. I'd like to lose another five pounds before the dietitian appointment and then I want to lose another 10 pounds on top of that. We will see how it goes next month. We're going to start going to the gym, um, trying to get more exercising in because I've got to, I've got to do it or I'm not going to get approved for the surgery. I'm really disappointed in myself and I know I can do better. Um, what else? Moving forward. Um, I'm, I'm recutting out. I have, I don't really have sugar and the few times I do, it's just too much. 
but I have been having more this time. Um, we have been eating out a lot. We did eat out at Wendy's a lot the past couple, the past week, but I was making healthier choices. I wasn't getting a bun. I was getting chili. I haven't been eating fries. I don't even like fries anymore. I got some yesterday and I ate a little bit, but I didn't, I didn't even eat like a fourth of the container and I ended up throwing away like a majority, like 90, 80, 90% of what was in there. Um, I didn't even like it. It was, I don't know. It's, I th I'm, I'm realizing that I'm going back to eating things that I ate before and I don't actually like them. I'm just eating just to do it or just cause they smell good. But when I eat them, I don't actually like them, but then I have them. So I tell myself, well, you got to eat it now. Um, so from now, from going forward, we're going to stop eating out. First of all, it's way too expensive. <laughs> um, no more eating out. If my boyfriend wants to eat out, that's fine, but I'm going to start eating at home. Um, I'm going to go back to making sure that I have meals prepared for work. I was doing really good when I was doing that. Um, I've been trying to walk more around the store when we're not busy. I do my homework at, at work because, um, as long as I get my job, the store stocked, um, clean and the customers helped. My boss lets us do our homework, watch movies, play videos, play video, watch videos on our phone, play video games. So I usually take my little um, tablet that I have to AT&T and I do my homework at work. But I've been trying to get up and like walk around the store for five minutes, um, at least once an hour um, when we're not busy. Um, because I work in the morning, so we don't get busy a lot. Um, but so I've been trying to get movement whenever I could. Um, it's hard with school to be able to exercise, but I'm going to make time twice a week to go to the gym for an hour and exercise on my days off or the day before my day off, me and my boyfriend are going to go to the gym. He's been wanting to go to the gym. I've been paying for a gym membership since August and we haven't gone one time, but I, I have to start. I want to, I think it'll really help me lose the weight more. Um, I enjoy going to the gym. It's just getting myself to go. At first, I didn't go because I didn't have shoes. So I wouldn't come down. I wouldn't let go slipping off the equipment. But I did buy us some shoes earlier this month. Um, and I've been wearing them around a little bit to break them in. So tomorrow, we're going to the gym. Um, I don't know if I won't record in the in the gym. But I will like record for next month updates afterwards. How I do. Um, but yeah. So I think that's it. Not a very long one this time, but I did have a whole lot of updates because I haven't been doing well. Um, I do feel a little icky right now because of all the sugar I've had the last couple of days. And that's how I've been feeling. I've been starting to feel how I felt before I started this diet. And I'm regretting it. Um, I also have not been filling this out. Um, but let's go through what I did eat today um, before we stop this. I think it should be right here. Um, so I had a pumpkin spice, ice pumpkin spice latte this morning, which is 480 calories, a 24 ounce, um, with 15 grams of protein, 18 grams of fat, and 68 carbohydrates. That's awful. Then I had the spinach, um, the spinach and feta wrap, which is 290 calories. It's 20 grams of proteins, 8 grams of fat, and 34 grams of carbs. I don't know if that's good for food. Or not. But the egg bites, they're 300 calories, but they're 19 protein, 20 grams of fat, which isn't good, but they are nine carbs. So I don't have um, a recipe this time. Last time it didn't work. It didn't go quite how I wanted it to. Um, so next month, I think what I'm going to do is because I like the spinach um, and feta wrap. And I also realized that now that I don't have as much sugar, as, um, I don't need to have any sugar, but now that I'm not like really like I have sugar ever get once in a while, lately it's been a lot, but you know what I mean? Um, I like the spinach and bites now and I didn't, or the egg bites now, and I didn't like them before. So I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find a healthy way to make the spinach and feta wrap and the egg bites so that they meet the requirements for my meal plan. Um, I think I can, I think instead of using flatbread, I can use the tortillas I buy because they, I, you can get them at Walmart and Myers. I'm going to show you. Okay. So these are the tortillas that I buy. You can buy them at Kroger and at Walmart. Um, and I will, uh, show this on the screen. I'll try to read it while you guys look at it, but it, Oh, hang on. There we go. It's 1.5 grams for one tortilla. 
15 carbohydrates um, and 5 protein. It does have 280 milligrams of sodium, which makes me a little concerned. But I'm looking. Yeah, there is no sugar in there. So I'll try to see if it'll focus on the ingredient list. There we go. So I don't see any sugar in there or any um, corn syrup or anything like that. So these are the ones I eat. Um, I'm thinking about seeing if I could use I could use those to make the spinach and feta wrap, and then I could try to make the egg bites myself. Um, but yeah, that is all for this time. If you guys enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I post more videos. So as my links are in the description down below, and I will see you guys next time.